Siri command number seven is a command that very few people actually know about, yet it's one that I use most often, and it can really take your smart home to the next level. And that is the ability to If you have used Siri for more than a week, then you know that Siri is not the best smart home assistant, but Siri might actually be more powerful than you might think, and can do things that you might not think were even possible. So in this video, we'll be looking at 10 Siri commands that you can say to level up your Apple smart home. Siri command number one is that you can control multiple accessories at once with just one command. You can use Siri to control your lights, your smart plugs, or really mix and match any accessory that's in the same room. Now these commands work the best whenever you are saying it from a HomePod. Whenever you say these specific commands from an iPhone, it doesn't quite work. Turn on the desk and fan. Here you can see this is a smart plug and this is a light strip, or even accessories that are in different rooms. Turn on the lamp and charger. This is from the main room and this is from the master room. Maybe you want to turn off all the lights in your house except for the room that you're in. Turn off all the lights except in the master. This command even works great with zones, which are groups of rooms as well. Turn on the lights upstairs, except for the couch light. If you want to control more than a couple of devices at once with your voice, say like controlling 10 devices at once or even 20 devices at once, then it's best to use a scene for this, which is Siri command number two, running your scenes. Scenes are a group of accessories from either the same room or from different rooms. With just one voice command, your devices can be set up exactly how you want them to be. So if you like your lights a certain brightness and color, then you can set this up with a scene. One scene that I use often is recording these YouTube videos. So I can just say, record video. And as you can see, everything is just the way, shh. And as you can see, everything is just the way it's supposed to look. Instead of using your phone to create an automation, you can actually just use your voice to create an automation. Either of course on your phone or on your HomePod. Run my good morning scene every day at 10 a.m. It can take a couple of seconds for the automation to show up here in the automations tab. Turn on the master TV every day at 8 p.m. One sec. I've set the master to turn on at 8 p.m. every day. And here is the TV automation that I just created from the HomePod. Siri can only create an automation by voice if it involves running a scene or controlling a device at a certain time of day with repeating occurrences like daily or on specific days. For automations with multiple conditions, like only on certain days, like a weekday or a weekend, or using another device as a trigger, like if a door is open, then turn on the lights, you will need to use the Apple Home app to set this up. And Siri is not able to modify or delete any automations via voice. That can only be done via the Apple Home app, which is actually a great safeguard so nobody tries to accidentally delete your automations via voice. Now, one of the most game-changing features that I think Siri has is the ability to turn a device on and off after a certain period of time on the spot without having to create an additional automation. And although this feature is really amazing, it's not my favorite feature and not the one that I use most often that most people don't know about. That's coming up soon. You can say things like, turn off the office fan in 10 minutes. Turn on the string lights at sunset. Run my party scene today at 8 p.m. Or if there's music playing on your HomePod, then you can just say, Turn off the music in five seconds. Stopping in five seconds. And after the specified time, the music will start to slowly fade out instead of stopping abruptly. Stopping in five seconds. Since these requests don't require an automation to run and are a single one-time command and not recurring, this means they will not show up in the Apple Home app. So you aren't able to see how much time is left before a device, let's say, turns off or any upcoming times. 
I wish we could see all this in the Apple Home app to maybe extend the time before a device turns off or just a way to manage all of these one-time requests. Siri command number five is that you can ask Siri what the temperature or the humidity of a room or even your house is. What's the temperature in here? It's 69 degrees Fahrenheit in the office. Or if you want to know the temperature of a different room, just say that specific room at the end of your command. This can also be used to ask Siri what the humidity of a room is or the air quality of a room if you have a HomeKit air purifier. You will need a compatible thermostat or temperature sensor that works with Apple Home to use this command, like a HomePod mini that has a temperature sensor built in or a thermostat like with Ecobee. Siri command number six is that Siri can show you the live feed of any of your HomeKit cameras just by your voice. Show me the backyard camera. This also works on the Apple TV, so you can just ask Siri to show you one of your cameras and she'll pull it up. And this is cool and all, but Siri can take this even further. Not only can Siri show you the live feed of a camera, but she can also show you the past recordings of a camera as well. Siri will show you the time that you requested or the closest recording to the time of the request. And your requests can be generic as well. This is a super quick and easy way to view HomeKit recordings. And of course, you will need a HomeKit compatible camera that supports HomeKit secure video for this to work. Siri command number seven is a command that very few people actually know about, yet it's one that I use most often, and it can really take your smart home to the next level. And that is the ability to get the status of your smart home devices with just your voice. You can ask Siri the status of locks, a contact sensor, so like if a door or window is open or closed, lights, garage doors, or even a security system. Did I lock the front door? You're in luck. Your front door is already locked. Is the back gate closed? Back gate is closed. I personally use these commands pretty often just to make sure that my door is locked and that my doors are closed. Because sometimes I may forget to close a door back and this way I don't have to physically go to the door to see if it's open or closed or open up the home app to see what the status is. I can just ask Siri and she can tell me. Siri command number eight is the ability to control your Apple TV with just your voice. And you can do these commands from either an iPhone or a HomePod or even an iPad. You can ask Siri to turn on or off the Apple TV, open a specific show on the Apple TV, watch the Andy Griffith show on the living room Apple TV. One of my favorite ways is to control playback. Pause. Open a specific app like Netflix, though it cannot open up a specific show. If you have a HomePod, then this makes controlling your Apple TV even easier because you can do all this hands-free. Instead of having to find where the remote is, which is most likely lost in your couch abyss, or trying to find your phone, or maybe you just don't have it on you, and you don't want to have to get up to pause the show. Just ask Siri, and then she'll pause the show for you without you having to get up. One command you may be familiar with telling Siri is, is to play music but you can take this one step further. If you have multiple HomePods in different rooms, then you can tell Siri to play music in a single room, multiple rooms, or even move music between different rooms. Shuffle my chilling out playlist. Chilling out now shuffling. Play this in the studio as well. One sec. Now also playing in the studio. Move the music from the bathroom to in here. One moment. Now playing in here. And Siri command number 10 is that Siri can control devices that do not work with Apple Home via a Siri shortcut. Now the device that you're wanting to control must support Siri shortcuts because if it does not, then this will not work. I have a smart light here in my bathroom that does not work with Apple Home, but it does support Siri shortcuts. So I can tell Siri either on my phone or on my HomePod to turn this light on or off. You will need to create a separate shortcut in the manufacturer's app for each command that you want to say. If you want to say this on your HomePod, then your phone and HomePod will need to be on the same Wi-Fi network because the HomePod will be looking for this shortcut on your phone. This means that if you want other people to have this feature as well, they will need to have the shortcut on their phone too. Let me know what your favorite Siri commands are down in the description below. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you for watching.